Hi guys and uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be using, uh, reviewing the favorite Little B Summer 35 Amp ESC. So what's so cool about this guy? This is actually BL Heli 32 uh, ESC. So it can run D-Shot 1200 and soon to be Pro Shot, I believe. So if you haven't heard of Pro Shot, go check it up. It's the new D-Shot that's been optimized to run even better. So this is rated for 35 volts and it has a 45 volt, 40 for, sorry, 35 amps, and it has a 40 amp burst up to 10 seconds. Um, it, it can only run a 2 to a 4S LiPo, so I wouldn't recommend pushing it above that. Uh, that wouldn't be very smart. And um, it's um, fairly cheap, I think, or is it in the high end? Yeah, it's in the high end, kind of. But it's not really high end because it's a BL Heli 32 ESC, plus it's cheap. So it's like, well, I mean, they're all in the $16. So this would be considered in the high end. I, I would put that in the high end right now. So we're going to have high hopes for this guy just because of its price point. So let's remove the sticker here real quick. We get a nice heat sink. So that's good. We get four tiny baby capacitors right here. That's scary. And no tantalum capacitors. Uh, no current sensor. Um, that's it. It's just... Just a BL Heli 32 ESC. Now I have not connected this BL Heli 32, so I don't know if it actually works, but they're stating that it's BL Heli 32. But I'll eventually go through all these one by one and uh, possibly post it on the website before I make a video on them. So if you guys were in a hurry to figure it out, that would be there. Um, so that's really it. That's all I can really say about this guy now. So let's stick them on the bench and test them. Alright guys, so how did this one do? Well, this one did not do very well at all. Uh, the voltage drop was was way below the danger zone, 8.8 .8 volts. Uh, it's, it's kind of in the same genre as the Emax bullet. Uh, the voltage spikes 29.4, also in the high zone. The, the max safe zone of a voltage spike is like 27 volts. And that's in my opinion, That's I'm just basing that off of the VTX's uh, power inputs. But 8.8 .8 volts on a 12 volt regulator, that's just a... That's just, a, just that's a blackout. Um, that's that's a quick blackout. Um, now, the Racer Star actually did a lot better than this. So, um, a lot better actually. Even though that one's okay, it's decent. It's not the best, but it still outperformed this guy. This guy, I, I, I I'm glad to be honest. I'm I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm glad I just bought one of this guy. So that's very good because. I see a huge headache with some Emacs 2205S motors and some kind of board with a 12 volt regulator. Now, if you're not using a 12 volt regulator and you're just powering off your VTX off your, uh, what is it, your VCC, which is your battery terminals, raw battery feed, then you, I think you could expect a lot of noise actually. Um, I mean, it is to be expected. There's only four tiny capacitors and new tantalum capacitors down here, so. Um, yeah, I, mean, I wasn't expecting much, but I was expecting something. So this one overall was not very good at all. Um, personally, I wouldn't, I, w I, w I would not put this on the build. Um, I just don't see the need for the BL Heli 32 badge with this kind of uh, voltage drops. <coughs> and um, that's going to conclude it for this video, guys. I have nothing more to say about this ESC. Um, and um, I hope it helps someone out there. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time. See you guys.